Hello Oracle Geeks, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to kill an RMAN backup, which is currently in session against the database. Now, RMAN stands for Recovery Manager, and RMAN is R-M-A-N, and it comes free with the Oracle software, okay, whether that's Standard Edition or Enterprise Edition. Okay, and basically what RMAN does is it's, the, it's considered server managed backup and recovery. And it is a program that Oracle provides which backs up your Oracle database and restores and recovers your Oracle database. Okay, now bear in mind this isn't to be confused with high availability solutions such as Oracle Rack, Real Application Clusters, or Oracle Data Guard, which is the standby database. Okay, it's not... Um, that's not what it is. Or Oracle Streams, another part, another another uh, advanced replication feature. Okay, it's not any of those. It's just backup and recovery. Taking the data, it's in your data files, the blocks. I mean, putting uh, and storing them somewhere else to be to be restored later in case you need to. All right, in the event that you need to. Okay, so Rman is a backup and restore utility for Oracle databases. So. Let's go ahead and let's set our Oracle SID to finance and let's ensure we are set properly, which we are. And let's launch our RMAN program with arguments or clauses target slash. And the target database in RMAN terminology um, is the database that you are backing up or restoring. Slash means connect to whatever the Oracle SID in the current session is set to, which in our case is finance. It also means connect as sysdba. Notice how when we connect with SQL Plus with this OS user, we do SQL Plus slash as sysdba. Same type of thing here. Rman connect to the target database slash, but there's no as sysdba. As sysdba is um, implicit it's by default. And in this example, which is the default in Rman starting in, I believe, 10G or 9, late 9i, uh, one of the later 9i releases. Um, is the default is to start RMAN without attempting to connect to an RMAN recovery catalog. Okay, so it's going to use the target database's control file to hold the RMAN metadata. Okay, so we launch our RMAN program. Now, RMAN comes pre configured for the most part, so you can you should be ready to go as far as just kick off a backup. And this data this database currently is running in archive log mode, so we'll be able to back it up while it's up and running. Um, so it, 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 Rman does come. I, I call it kinda, and I'm I'll hold. I'm I'm doing air quotes here. Uh, you can't see that though, obviously. Um, kind of configured. There are my air quotes, but not not really. And what I mean by that is, in a in a in a pr real world production scenario, what you would want to do is ensure that your um that that you direct Rman to either tape. Or with a MML media management layer, or um, using a product, uh, a backup enterprise product, or uh, redirect the backups to go to a file system on on fast connect on fiber connected SAN disk, which is fast disk, on a on an enterprise disk subsystem with hardware RAID protection and things like that. Okay, but for now, this is fine for this example. So. Let's go ahead and let's kick off our database backup. Backup database plus archive log. Backup database plus archive log. And this should be enough just to back up your database. Now, I'm going to go quick here and then I'm going to explain because my database isn't that big. We haven't really inserted a lot of data into it. Um, so I need to be quick to catch it before it ends to actually kill it. So bear with me. We kick off the backup. Uh, SSID is 115 alter system kill session 115 serial 43 system altered killed okay let's talk about what happened here when we kick when you kick off an oracle when you kick off every oracle process rman is another client server model connection uh, the client server model software okay meaning that 
when you connect via SQL Plus, whether it's on the same server that's running the Oracle database or on a different server using that, using Oracle Net, um, or if you're using the SQL Developer utility, or if you're using, um, or even if you're using RMAN, RMAN can be on the same database server that's running the database or a different server as well. You're using Oracle Net under the covers, which is Oracle's network communication protocol that runs on top of TCP/IP. Um, to communicate with the database and you are launching a, a user session and a server session okay um, well, I should say process you're, you're launching a user process and a server process regardless if you're connected to this on the same on the server that the, that the database is running on so when you start SQL plus SQL plus is the client process and it connects to a server process which connects to the instance and the instance connects to the database Okay, um, and every time you connect, even in SQL Plus and SQL Developer, no matter what you're using, even even applications, whether it's a Java app or a web or a website application or whatever, everyone gets an SID, and an SID is like a process ID in Unix or a, you know or a process thread ID in, in Windows. It's a unique ID that identifies the server process for that session in an Oracle database. And the server process is how something connects to an Oracle database. RMAN is no exception. So RMAN, this session got SID 115. So what I did was I opened up another window connecting that SysDBA to the same database, and I selected serial number from set V dollar sign session where SID equals 115. Okay, and it gave me a serial number which is 43. I then used the the serial number 43 which is right the, the second argument and the SID which is the first argument and that allow and then when I did that that killed the backup that was currently in progress and here it is right here aura 00028 so when I when I hit enter on my alter system kill session command here in my RMAN backup window it says aura 00028 your session has been killed Continue another job steps. Job failed will not um, be rerun. Failure of backup. Okay, your session has been killed. Okay, so this right here shows you that I had to kill it. So as a DBA, you may be called, and they may someone may say, "There's a runaway RMAN process, whatever that means. Can you kill it?" And you'll open up a session, and you'll look for the for the for the serial number, and then you would type in the alter system kill session command and um, include the SID along with the um, of the of the RMAN backup along with the serial number and then you'd be able to kill it now V$ dollar sign session is a view that shows you all sessions that are currently connected to an Oracle database okay user sessions with SQL plus SQL developer even sessions connected via an application a Java app or something Okay, and a serial number, an SID, an SID uniquely identifies a session, so there won't be the same number, but serial number, so there won't be more than one connection at the same, uh, simultaneously connected to the database with the same SID. Okay, um, and a and a serial number is uniquely um, attached, assigned to each session as well to uniquely identify that server session further. Okay, so when you do an alter system kill session, you need to provide that command to um, arguments in order for it to um, kill a session. You have to provide the SID, the session ID, which is the first argument, and you have to provide it the serial, which is 43 right here. Okay, now also. Uh, v dollar sign program will show you all of the connections to an Oracle database. Okay, and we see here's our we have arm we have RMAN connections here because RMAN is currently connected to our database. Okay, so we type in quit in our RMAN window. We do that select statement again, and you'll see that RMAN is gone. Okay, no RMAN is connected to the Oracle database. We connect again. and we issue our select program that means programs which are connected to the Oracle database from v$ sign database I mean session 
and we see our man out there again. Okay, and then there's our SQL plus. Get out our man. Select our select is here, and our SQL plus, which is our current session that we're in, but we don't see any R man. And to learn more about the three dollar sign session, um, watch my video when I talk about internal database uh, architecture and whatnot. Okay, all right, that's how you kill an R man backup session, and uh, I hope you learned something. Thank you.